Good morning guys, greetings from Rio de Janeiro. It's 7 a.m. right now and we are about to go on a bus ride to a beautiful city called Paraty. By the way, this is where we are staying. Uh, beach is somewhere there in that direction. In about uh, 100 meters is Copacabana beach. This is our stall small kitchen uh, our neighbors okay let's go but first let's get to the bus station yeah we are not going hiking today what a surprise but we are going to this uh, city called Parati Una said it's a beautiful city so yeah if, if it's not you know whom to blame because I don't know anything about this city we just realized that it's uh, been almost a month since we are in Rio de Janeiro and it's time to go on some um, a bit longer trip in Brazil yeah and then there is this city in between uh, Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo and we decided to go there it's a five hour bus ride so we won't be coming back today we could if we wanted but uh, we decided to go there, stay one night and then come back tomorrow. But yeah, let's go to the bus station, which is on the other side of Rio. You just look at that mountain. It's where we are going near the metro station and we are taking a metro, going to the other side of the city, then uh, walking and then we get to the bus station. This will be the first time we are taking a long distance bus in Brazil. It's five hours and it uh, costs around uh, 20 euro, 70 euro. And now 1.5 kilometer walk to the bus station. One kilometer to the bus station. Is the station? I think no. Oh, nice tram. I think it's not our station, it's probably a uh, city bus station, not intercity bus station. Because the intercity bus station has been recently renovated, quite recently. Oh yeah, so this is the intercity bus station, and that bus station was this one now we have to find our bus company exchange our online tickets and board the bus in one hour it almost looks like every city has their own bus company because there are so many companies and we don't see our Bonus. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Now I see why they say come at least half an hour before the bus because there are so many companies. Ah, oh, we found Costa Verde. Parati. Have you even been to Rio if you don't have a photo with this sign? With the bus station sign? I'll take one, just in case. And now, now we can go to the bus. First bus stop. So what can you buy here? Toothpaste, soap, cookies, lemonade, chocolate. And the most important thing is soap, of course. Everyone needs soap during a bus ride. This is our bus. Are you buying soap today? There is soap. Everyone needs soap on the bus side. No? Okay, 
don't think so. Protein this, bar. And this protein bar is so cheap. Quite cheap, right? Like one euro. Know, one euro. There were also, I think, uh, three euro protein bars. Mm -hmm. So this is the cheap one. Three euro one was a special one. Maybe it came with a bar of soap. Let's go and see how much is petrol in uh, in, in, in Brazil. 749, 749, 750. So it's uh, 1 euro 25 cents. And now it's what? March 18th. And you see where everyone is waiting in line for pastries. Because Brazilians love their pastries. They eat bread all day, every day. Same like potatoes and meat. Same like Latvians actually, except for maybe bread. We don't eat that much bread, but we eat quite a lot of bread. But we definitely love potatoes and meat. First impressions, super hot. It's super hot and we will go to our hostel first and then, then head out. Well, this turned out to be our hostel, so we left our things and now, now we're going and then yeah, it's, it's super hot. First we'll go to the old city center. Parati is supposed to be the most beautiful colonial town in all of South America. It's also the best preserved. So let's go and see. And it seems like there might be quite a lot of tourists because there are a lot of different restaurants. There seems to be more food choice than in Rio. More different kind of food choice. Yeah, it really looks like a beautiful uh, town, but this town also has a dark history because you see when the Portuguese were here in the 17th century, 18th century, they were mining gold near this town and then bringing this gold back to Parati and shipping from Parati to Europe. And as you can imagine, the ones doing all the hard work in these mines were slaves, brought most likely halfway across the world to work here and do this job for Portuguese. Yeah, that's another important thing to remember when you look at all this colonial beauty now. I was thinking that it will be similar to what we saw in Mexico, but it's different. And it's actually also surprisingly empty now on Friday afternoon. Maybe because it's a kind of back, oh, back of season in Brazil, maybe. Kayaking in the old town. Wow, that's something. Let's go and see. How can you kayak in the old town? Is it possible to kayak? In your city's old town, in Latvia and Riga, you can't kayak uh, in the old town, not on the streets. You can't really go around this corner. Let's go as close as we can. Uh, okay. Well, you can kayak in Riga old town, but uh, in, a on in a canal, yeah. not like that on the streets. <laughs> not on the streets. My guess is that it's not something normal. Probably they had a heavy rain and now it's all flooded. I hadn't heard before that uh, the Parati, Parati is the Venice of Brazil. So yeah, so probably it's just due to some recent Rain, oh, it's so nice, it's so warm. The coastline. Another thing that Parati is famous for is its nature. There are spectacular beaches nearby, mountains, also some waterfalls. So we'll try to see some of that tomorrow. It's a beautiful place. 
the old town is there and we are going Uluvatu Uluvatu, a boat from Bali most likely not let's go and uh, check out one beach there or maybe two beaches Senna I guess they are selling tours on Senna for half the price lots and lots of beautiful boats boat tours are another popular thing in Parati you can go to many uh, secluded beaches from here Marmoset one more and there is another one and yeah by the way one of the reasons this town is so well preserved is that up until like 40 years ago it was accessible only by the sea only if you were coming by a boat you could get here and now there is a highway and you can come by bus from Sao Paulo or Rio from Rio it's around five hours and from Sao Paulo around six hours to get to this town and right now we are going to the second beach because the first one was uh, very simple we didn't really like it and so we are going to check out the second beach I'm surprised how quiet it is here now on a Friday evening there are people but uh, very few way less than what you would expect from a touristy place popular place Good morning from the peaceful and quiet streets of the town of Parati. They're uh, coming out of uh, these little holes. Scraps in the old town. This town is strange. Do you see one of like one? They have only one big claw. Yeah, but what I wanted to tell you, uh, yesterday after I finished filming, uh, we went for a swim, and it was probably in top three the warmest water we have ever had in any like sea, lake, ocean, river, pond, anywhere, except for, I don't know. Except for a bath. Except for a bath, yeah. And yeah, and during that swim, we decided that we want to stay in this town longer. So we went to a bus station and asked if we can change our tickets to a later day and go back to Rio a day later. Turned out that it's possible. And so we are going back to Rio only a day later. So today, later, we are going to one of the most beautiful beaches in Brazil, as they say, and uh, going back to Rio only tomorrow. We're going to home day, uh, Villa Oreca. Ah, okay. We found the right bus and now we are on the way. It almost feels like we are descending into some paradise valley because of all the rainforest around. <laughs> yeah, it's the last one. And now, one hour and 15 20 minute walk to the beach, through the jungle. Comunidad de Praia do Sona, the beach we are going to, Praia do Sona. You can do the hike on your own or you can join a guided tour as in many other places around the world. Uh, in Parati there are a lot of day trip options. You can go on a lot of different day trips from Parati. And we also at first were thinking of going on an organized day trip to this place. But then we read the description that it includes taking a regular public bus to this place and then hiking through the jungle and we realized that um, we either pay like 60 euros to go here with the guy and together with other people or pay less than five euros and do the same thing on our own and since we like doing things on our own like it was a no-brainer and if you like these kind of things you can also easily go on a hike to this place because it's at least so far 
it's super easy you take a bus to the very last stop go on a hike chill on the beach there come back take the same bus back to Parati and that's it but yeah but um, if you would like to go on a day trip on an organized day trip I will leave a link in description to one guided tour to this place so you can check it out it's crazy hot in Parati even though now it's not sunny at all it's cloudy but even now it's extremely hot it's hotter than in uh, Rio it's also very very humid it's an easy hike yeah it's easy to follow and yeah if you're reasonably fit it's easy to do it there's only one like steep section it's at the beginning and afterwards you're going down but yeah on the way back that means you'll be going up but it's not a steep trail anyway so it shouldn't be a problem but yeah it's very easy to follow the trail in many parts there are even kind of stairs and there are electricity cables as it looks because on the beach there are also some restaurants probably there are also these uh, people living like as they said on the sign uh, Praia da blah 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 community probably these people are living there maybe not all the time but living there and running all these restaurants these few restaurants as I have heard but we'll see how it looks now in March, mid-March. Oh, oh. Where? Where? Cookie. That means there are people somewhere. That means we are on the right trail, on the cookie trail. Ants were eating it, so I couldn't. I tried. Yeah, I didn't see it, but I tried to negotiate with them, with the ants. I said, uh, I'm a bigger boy, I need more food than you guys. But they wouldn't listen. Maybe they don't have airs, I don't know. I'm not an ant expert. Yes, it is quite an easy hike, but it's definitely not a boring hike. There are a lot of huge rocks. Slippery parts, huge trees, like this one, for example. It's definitely not a boring hike. It will be quite steep on our way back. Yeah, it looks like on the way back it will be quite steep. And it's not like we thought at the beginning because it goes like up and down, up and down. So there will be quite a lot of going up on the way back as well. But it looks like it's all worth it because the beach from what we can see through the jungle looks amazing uh -huh. it's a long wow. white sand beach oh. with waves like in bali or nusa penido or in the, rio de janeiro in rio de janeiro and the best beaches i don't know if you know Whoa. this is it the beach beautiful and so empty and there at the end, most likely are the restaurants because there are more people there. And behind there, behind these mountains, is one high peak you can hike up to. And from there you can see the world's only tropical fjord. Same thing uh, like you have in, I don't know, Norway, Sweden, uh, same thing, but in a tropical country. And it's the only one in the world here in Parati, in Brazil. Let's go down to the beach. This is where we came from now. From this beautiful jungle, beautiful rainforest. There was one camping. 
There is one more or the same. Okay, let's go. Nice, but very, very strong waves. Strong current, be careful. Will be. Amazing beach, but uh, dangerous for swimming. But then, uh, yeah, that's like many in many places in Brazil and then uh, at least where we have been near Rio. But if you're being cautious, it can also be fun. Funny bird. They are eating something here. Yeah, I think they really are uh, fighting for some food there. Maybe some fish or some crab. Amazing place. So beautiful and uh, with so few people. Look what I found here. A dead... I don't recognize this animal, but um, it's some South American animal. And I think these guys are feasting on this poor guy. It was probably slot or what do you call it. Um, yeah, I have always wanted to see it, but uh, not in this state. Good morning, it's 7.30 a.m. and we are out walking because according to the weather forecast, it's going to rain for the rest of the day so we are just taking this chance to see a little bit more of Parati before going back to Rio. We are also going to check out what's the situation in the old town. Can you go kayaking today in the old town? Because yesterday when we were returning from the beach, when we were hiking back through the jungle, it started drizzling. It was drizzling all the way until we came back to town and then it started raining super heavily it was a real tropical storm when we were going to sleep and now it's not raining at least now yeah but as you can see just looking at the sky most likely it will be back most likely it will be raining again look at these boats which one do you like the most? We are approaching the old town kayaking spot. Yeah. Yeah. You can go kay oh. You can go kayaking. But not all the way. Imagine what they had before. Before when I was showing you. It was possible to go kayaking here on this street. It was possible to go kayaking here. It is possible to kayak there. Look here, they even have this makeshift bridge that they remove when it's like dry enough. But before it was like the water was all the way until this bridge. Here as well. So it wasn't that bad. But yeah, but um, just judging by the numbers, like the, the amount of rain that's forecast. Uh, Today, during the day, it will be twice as much, at least twice as much as what we had yesterday night. <laughs> What's that? I think it's a, it's a huge worm, look. Not, not an electricity cable. <laughs> look, another bridge in the old town. Oh, this is Parati. This is Palatine. It starts raining. Yeah, it really started raining. So I think it's a great moment to finish this video. Palatine. Palatine truly is a really beautiful city. Just as Una promised it will be. If you like colonial towns, if you like beautiful nature, if you like going on jungle hikes, going on boat trips, if you like any of that or all of that, come to Parati when you are traveling to Brazil uh, but yeah that's it for this day that's it for this video see you soon most likely from Rio because there is one more thing we want to do in Rio before moving further so bye